To disassemble iPhone Tennis Max, you need the following tools. Screwdriver set, tweezers, plastic mediator, opening a plastic tool, section cup for removing display. In description of this video, I'll have links to necessary tools and parts for replacement. Before disassembling, turn off the iPhone and replace the SIM card tray. Unscrew two screws near the lighting port. Display glue it around perimeter of iPhone, and we need to heat the surface of iPhone for open it. Apply section cup to the bottom edge of display and pull up on the ring. Next, push the plastic mediator between the display and iPhone case. From this position, evenly and slowly open the display around perimeter of iPhone. The iPhone case opens like a book, the display opens to the right side. Next, using a tri wheel screwdriver, unscrew the four screws and remove the metal panel. Disconnect the battery cable from the motherboard. Disconnect two cables of the display from the motherboard. Unscrew the three screws and remove the second metal panel. Now you can remove the display. Using tri wind screwdriver, unscrew six screw and remove antenna model. Unscrew three more screws using Philips PH00 screwdriver. Using flex screwdriver, unscrew two screws. Disconnect the cable, it's located under the metal bracket. Now we can remove the haptic engineer and speaker from the iPhone case. Slowly pull one adhesive tape away from the battery. In the same order repeat with other three adhesive tapes.
If one adhesive tape is torn using a hair dryer, hit the rear case directly over the battery. And next, use a plastic cut to break any remaining adhesive behind the battery. Remove the battery. Disconnect two cables of the PSID from logic board. Using a hair dryer, hit the back side of the iPhone case where located cables of Face ID. Separate the cable from the iPhone case. Now you can replace the Face ID module. Unscrew two screws and remove metal panel from camera module. Disconnect two cables of camera from mainboard and remove rear camera from iPhone case. Disconnect four cables from main board. Using a flat screwdriver, unscrew the one screw that secure metal bracket. Next, unscrew three more screws. Disconnect last two cables from main board and remove main board from iPhone case. Set main board and fasten three screws.
connect the cables to the main board of iPhone. Set metal bracket and fasten screw. Install camera module and connect cables to the main board. Set metal panel and fasten two screws. Set face ID module and connect cables to the main board. On new battery, apply adhesive tape and install battery in house and away phone. The battery should be glued to the metal surface of the iPhone case. Connect the cable and install the Taptic engineer and speaker in the iPhone case. Set the metal bracket between Taptic engineer and speaker. Connect the cable and fasten screw. Screw another similar screw to the speaker. Install the antenna module and fasten 5 screws. Fasten the one screw on the metal bracket. Fasten one screw on the speaker and two screws on the Taptic Engineer. Now we can install the display and test how everything works before final assembly with gluing the iPhone case. Connect three cables from the display module and only after that connect the battery cable to the motherboard. Turn on the iPhone and install the SIM card tray. Let's test how everything works and if it works well, let's go to a final assembly with gluing the iPhone case. Remove the old adhesive tape from the iPhone case. After using medicine alcohol, wipe the surface of iPhone case and display module. Now take new adhesive tape and apply it to the case. With this tape you save waterproof resistance of iPhone. I left links where you can buy this adhesive tape in description. Of course you can install uh, the display without adhesive tape, but you will lose waterproof resistance. Connect three cables from the display to the motherboard.
set the metal panel and fasten three screws. After, connect battery cable to the main board. Set metal panel and fasten four screws. Now close the iPhone case and press down the display around perimeter. Fasten the two screws near the lighting port. Now you can turn on the iPhone and use it.